So right now we're in August and I'm feeding the bees a one-to-one -one sugar to water syrup in both of these hives. And I have two different techniques for feeding the bees. One is using this Gatorade bottle. You poke one or two holes in the lid of the, the Gatorade bottle and you can use a 1 16th drill bit to do it. And what ends up happening is the sugar syrup doesn't actually drip on the bees. It creates a vacuum in the Gatorade bottle. And then the bees will slowly drink out of it. Since there's only two small holes, it takes them a really long time to get through the Gatorade bottle. And what it's doing is it's simulating a nectar flow in the area. So they think we're getting a little bit of nectar from trees in the area and it stimulates the queen to lay. So I want the queen to keep laying through August and have a bunch of bees by the time winter and eventually spring rolls around. So I'm gonna pull this out. They don't have any, no bees attached to it right now. But so that's one style of feeding your bees. Another style is to use a division board feeder. And this is to give them a lot of syrup in a short amount of time. They suck down two gallons of syrup in less than a week. I fed them this whole thing a week ago and it's already gone. And so I use this when I'm trying to have the bees pack on a lot of weight, produce a lot of honey. Um, a lot of beekeepers will use these after they pull honey out of the hive and they'll replace it with high fructose corn syrup or sugar water. I try not to do that because it's not the healthiest for your bees. But now is the time to feed one to one to give them a little boost and get them ready for winter.